nice drain up here. You want to have a throw on that one, you might get a bite. <coughs> Tide's pushing down out of these drains. All the prawns and bait fish are being forced out. Predators just wait at the mouth and get an easy feed. That tide really pouring out, Dan. We're just throwing plastic vibes up with the current and slowly working them down. We've got such a big run out tide here at the moment. And we've marked some big fish in this bit of an eddy here that could be threadfin or barra, so. We're just going to keep throwing up and working these lures down. But in the meantime, Dan, we'll just keep hammering away at it. Oh, yeah. Fishing these vibes, they always seem to hit it on the drop, Dan, and all you feel is a tap. That bit of a bump. So you strike at everything because you just never know if it's a fish. I've got runs on the board, mate. <laughs> Look at that. They're a beautiful fish. I never get sick of catching these threadies, oh, Dan. Some of this over here, mate. Oh, Dan's got a fish on too. Anyway, that's a small thready. I, I think probably I might have you, mate. 80 centimetres, so we'll get it back in the water. Dan's got a Dan's got a bigger one on. Oh, come, mate. There okay, you Dan. That's a nice fish. He might even give the meat on that. Got bigger since we got him in the boat, hasn't he? Yes, okay now. These fish, the threadfin salmon, are designed primarily as a prawn eater. I'll just get that lure out it's way down there the gills. Dr. Bargy. Oh, it's these flies, they make things so much easier. Oh, good, aren't they? Yeah. Now, if you can look down his mouth there and see his gill arrangement, on the edge of the gills you'll see all the fingers, they're like strainers. Now, these fish are designed. With these filaments, they herd jelly prawns up. They bust through and get a mouthful of jelly prawns and, and expel the water through their gills. And all the jelly prawns get caught in them gills. They're like a strainer. And actually, str like a, I guess like the baleen on a whale to a larger extent. They actually strain the jelly prawns out, swallow the prawns, and that's just how they feed. But they will take mullet and all those other species, but, but they're basically a prawn eater. I think that's why they are such a good eating fish, because they are what you eat. Yeah. 